So the Crab Nebula is this beautiful example of what happens when a really massive star who starts running out of fuel, it collapses essentially on itself, and then it just explodes its guts out into the universe. Now what happens with the crab is that a neutron star formed, and a neutron star is like this super dense, like like a teaspoon of the material probably weighs more than all of the people on the planet, right? It's super dense, and it's creating these beautiful rings and jet-like structures because there's this antimatter and matter kind of collision stuff going on. And then you're seeing essentially the results of that. Chandra is actually able- well, You just said that casually. I know. Matter, antimatter. <laughs> yeah, she actually sounded like she was on Star Trek for a second. <laughs> <laughs> like it made no thing. Yes, yes. I feel like that's going more to the Marvel universe, right? Okay. Isn't there something like that? Yeah, but... Just be clear. Just tell everybody what antimatter is, just to put well, it on the same page. It's just this particle that essentially, I mean, you explain it, I guess. Okay, like, yeah, I could. I mean, it's matter has an antimatter counterpart. We, yeah. It was predicted and then discovered right. in the last hundred years, by the way. People alive today were alive before we knew about antimatter. So it's a, it's a real thing before it became a science fiction favorite source of fuel. Yeah. Right. Um, and every particle has an antimatter counterpart. And the universe creates antimatter routinely. It happens in the center of the sun, happens in our particle accelerators. Uh, in the film... Angels and Demons. Oh, I liked that. One. Yeah, the Dan Brown yeah. second novel mm. of that series. Mm. It reports that the Catholic Church oh, right. had isolated a vial of antimatter. Oh, that yep. Pope. Uh, and it, it's totally walking around the Vatican with this vial of uh, antimatter. If anybody can do it, <laughs> it's the Pope. <laughs> And it's looking at it like it's some cherished thing that nobody else in the world has. Yeah. And it's like, dude, we do this in the lab all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, this is not a special I totally moment. forgot about that. I yeah, yeah. That I, I yeah. saw that scene. I was yeah. like, nah, nah. I don't yeah. So why is it, and why do you call it antimatter? Oh, oh is because it like, you bring it together. Right. They both annihilate. annihilate. And then there's no matter left at all. And you just have pure energy. 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 Wow. Yeah. And so that's high energy. When animat, animat, you get hot. You get X rays. Gamp, you get all high energy there. So yep. you just that's in your list of things going on in, in the, the crab. The crab exactly. is that the crab nebula? That's the crab nebula, and no, you can actually. Me, I, oh, yeah. I, 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 with all due respect, it doesn't look like a crab. Where so is the say? crab? I know, I know, I know. So I think it was because in optical images, if you look at this visible object light. Oh, in okay. visible light, right. Maybe yeah, has a got, crab like structure. It, okay. I'll be honest, I still don't see it. But that's that's <laughs> that's where it came from. Because I'm gonna say if that's a that, that's kind of like the constellations, like you know, you look at the constellations and let's be honest, like you're like, were these people high? Because <laughs> I don't see a bear. Yeah, I don't see yeah. a bear. Yeah. I, don't, right. I don't see a yeah. crab. I don't see a guy with a bow like, and arrow. Yeah. Three of the eighty-eight 